Hey everyone, what's going on? It's your girl Balama. Welcome to another video. I'm going to give some of my tips and things that I've seen that are important. I kind of only have like two points, so I won't be long with you. Um, so let's get into the video. So, um, myself and Odina, as he said, I've been married um, around eight months, almost a year. So it hasn't been a long time, but it's been a good enough time um, to kind of notice and pick up on certain things that are that I think are important to our relationship and so I'm going to share them with you so the first thing that I would say is important um, in addition to all things these things aren't in any specific order but what I think is important in a relationship is communication 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 so why do I say communication first and foremost um, you have two people coming together um, with different ideologies, different belief systems sometimes, different ways of looking at the world, and that's a natural thing that you cannot help. What's important, though, is to communicate your differences and to communicate what you feel and understand and know. And we, we were able to kind of, before we got married, we were able to have some of these conversations. So getting married, it wasn't really... A shocker to what we both kind of wanted out of the marriage but it was good that we had that conversation before um, so for example I remember one of the first questions I asked Odin was what do you what's your idea of a good wife or what's your idea of a wife and he gave me his points as to what he thought a good wife should be um, and I gave my points on what I thought um, a good husband should look like um, and we had to come to agreement okay so these and the thing is is you have to also be realistic hopefully whatever you're asking of your partner you're also able to deliver in the same space so um we were able to communicate back and forth what was important to me what was important to him um i know one thing we talked about was kind of dismissing the traditional roles um, for our marriage in particular, we didn't want to necessarily have assigned roles. So we didn't want assigned roles. So for example, I know a lot of people are big on, you know, wifey duties and husband duties. Those are great and dandy, but it was for us, it's kind of like whoever's available does that specific task. Um, if Odin comes in early and he does laundry, does laundry. If I come in early, I do laundry. Um, of course, as I said, by nature of um work schedule one person might do one thing more than the other but it's not that there is a specific role for odin it's not that there's a specific role for odin and there's a specific role for me we just kind of make things work um and i'm not saying that to have traditional roles is wrong but we decided that um for our lifestyle and what we want to accomplish in life it just wouldn't be feasible also for communication um Another reason why communication is also important is for assuming. Um, I think we also learned early on in our marriage that we just can't assume anything. Don't assume you know everything about your husband. Don't assume you know how he thinks. Because I've been surprised several times assuming that this is the way Odin was going to go and he went completely opposite. And he's done the same thing where he was assuming that, you know, I, I did this and that and it went completely different from what he thought and truthfully if I just asked him I would have gotten the answer and if he just asked me he would have gotten the answer so don't assume anything ask um and that might be uncomfortable to ask because not all questions are easy to ask um for example asking about past relationships or asking you know what are some possible um triggers or you know I have a lot of insecurities so I had to be open to discussing that um as much as it might sound crazy like why would you have struggle talking about insecurities with your husband being vulnerable on any level is uncomfortable point blank period being vulnerable is uncomfortable so i had to be okay with being vulnerable with someone who knows the good bad and the ugly um and that's the thing about marriage like marriage just opens the door to yourself actually there's marriage is a mirror of you because you are seeing this person day in day out they get to see 
everything about you they see you in your most in your best moments in your worst moments so they pretty much have a good reflection they have a good not good reflection they have a good idea of what you're like truthfully sometimes even more than you do so it's really just being honest being open being ready to receive um constructive criticism sometimes um or just being open to comments because as i said you're living with someone that gets to see you more than you maybe even know yourself um i think we both had like surprise moments because i've made comments to odin like i noticed you do this you know like what's that about and he and he's like never really took it in that that's something or taken it in that that's something that he's done and he said Nishinika, i realize you always make this comment right and i've never either i've never noticed it but never really paid it attention until he brought it up so definitely be open to the idea that in this marriage in your marriage in your relationship the plan and the hope is to grow um and with growing sometimes comes growing pains so be open to and be comfortable with your partner telling you about yourself um that sounds harsh but truthfully like i've seen the benefits to having like difficult conversations conversations where i've ended up crying or or dean's really mad um and what i've also realized is i am not it's not that i'm not responsible for your feelings but i can't control how you're going to feel so for example if if you're doing something that is truly hurting me um and i truly am uncomfortable with something as much as i'm concerned about how you will feel with what I share with you I can't be too concerned to the point where I don't share with you because I'm hurting and it's not it can't be a functioning healthy relationship if one person isn't their best self so I've learned to have those difficult conversations because after we've gotten over the feelings of you know the natural you know you get defensive oh I'm not like that oh I didn't do that once you get over those initial feelings you're actually able to work through whatever the difficulty is and your marriage is better because of it so i would suggest or i would i would yeah i would suggest that um sit down <laughs> with your partner and have those difficult conversations because as much as you w don't want to there are so many good outcomes from being able to be open from being able to um express your feelings and express your truth with your husband and your truth is your truth how you feel is how you feel i've learned over the years that i cannot odin has his own perspective on life right i might not agree with how he sees things all the time but i can't be upset with how he sees things that's how he sees the world that's how he sees things i can't be upset with how he sees things i can all i can do is do my best to understand where he's coming from and try and be supportive in this viewpoint as i said we can we disagree all the time we have disagreements i might not agree with this viewpoint but what makes i think a healthy marriage is i'm not shutting down his viewpoint okay i hear you help me understand where you're coming from because i don't get it i don't see that making sense because of my viewpoint once again so it's also being open to you're not going to have the same viewpoint but as long as you're willing to understand where the person is coming from i think you'll have a successful marriage so my second point and my final point only at two um is remaining an individual so for context um odin is odin as i said before and i am me and what has been important to both of us is to remain individuals so i think a lot of mar a lot of times i've seen marriages where people kind of just mesh become one person which is great um but what sometimes happens is they become i don't know if the word is dependent on their partner but it become not not dependent but um they lack a sense of self-identity um odin is a very outgoing um fun loving in your face type of person you've seen him here on youtube i can be that but naturally i'm more chill and just you know people say i have the resting face um but it's not because i'm rude it's just i'm just more you know i'm cool i'm not mad i'm just chill um so it's important for Odie not to try and change me 
um i might have to at times be more like odin to you know make the relationship fun and i can be fun but um me not trying to change odin and make him more like me and him not trying to change me and make me more like him that's been very important so he is who he is i am who i am find a way to make those two come together and work that has been the goal of our marriage so sometimes that works sometimes it doesn't sometimes i just want to chill and just be by myself and um odin's a very hands-on you love you love you love you love person and i I show my love but very differently from how Odin shows his love. He's very hands-on. He likes to, if it's buy him something and cuddle, he'll probably pick cuddling. Um, if it's cooking him a meal or just spend time lying down, he'll probably pick just spend time together in bed or just spend time together in general. Um, I like cooking for him. I like making stuff for him. I like making sure his stuff are together. That's how I show my love. So I like to make sure his stuff are put together. I like to make sure he's ready for the day. Whatever it is that we're doing, I want to make sure that he's ready to go. So that's how I think I show my love. Not that I'm obviously not against being hugged and kissed and loved, but I can only like... I'm the type of girl where like, alright, 10 minutes in... <laughs> i'm working on it i'm working on it but it's just my personality i'm just i like my space um and that's something that i'm working towards because as a married person you have to be in each other's spaces um but also respecting and, and i think he's he's learned to kind of sometimes just like allow me to be um and it's as i said it's not because i don't love my husband's company i he is a joy um to be around he can make any day a good day um, and that's one of his like strong points. He's really good at just um, making me feel good. Um, but that's not to say that I don't just appreciate being by myself in a quiet space. Yeah, so I've also realized that we're not responsible, not just responsible, but Odin's happiness is not rooted in me and my happiness is not rooted in Odin. Um, I saw this quote from Will Smith and I agree 100%. Um, Odin has to have his own happiness. I have to have my own happiness. And we come together and make each other's happiness greater. Um, and why I say that is if my happiness is solely wrapped up in Odin, when Odin is having a bad day himself, um, what, who do I run to? Do you get what I mean? And as a believer, as a Christian, that's why the joy of the Lord is my strength. So even on a bad day, um, and we have rough days, I can look to God for my strength. And of course I can look to my husband for support, but my happiness and who I am as an individual and that isn't rooted in Odin. Odin makes me a better person. I make Odin a better, we make each other better people, but um, outside of each other, we have God as our source and our core and that is the most important thing. So when I say that I'm not responsible for his happiness, I mean that I am not the sole source of his happiness. That makes more sense. Yeah, I'm not the sole source of Odin's happiness. Odin is not the sole source of my happiness. We are we give to each other. Um, we try our best to make each other um, feel fulfilled and feel loved and feel appreciated. But at the end of the day, if Odin doesn't have a sense of joy and happiness on his own, um, I can't add to what he doesn't have, right? Um, I can't give him that sense. Um, he has already, he or he already has to have that within him. So, yeah, I think I've said a lot. Um, and so I hope you guys didn't really enjoy this video. Um, it's my expression or my ideas of marriage thus far. I'm sure as the years go on, I will have more to share with you guys. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please go ahead to like and subscribe to my channel, um, to our channel with more videos to come. And I will see you guys on the next one.